Hi everyone, it's Cheryl from the Lifestyle Digs, and once again I'm coming to you from the porch swing on my sun deck. And uh, it's, it was raining this morning, but uh, the sun has come out and it keeps going back and forth between clouds and then it shines on me, so I'm not quite sure what the lighting is going to be like here. Um, my dogs are out in the sun deck, I gave them both a bone and they were chewing away. But uh, one of them stopped chewing and then she came down and lay beside me, and she's a stress panter. <laughs> So it's really loud. I put her back in the house, but I expect that uh, we're going to hear her barking any minute. There, you might you might even hear it in the background. She is barking right now, even though she's in the house. Anyway, today I'm doing another rant about Telus. That's a communications company, primarily in British Columbia and Alberta, and uh, they provide uh, phone service, internet, and um, optic TV. <laughs> If you're going to get any of those services, you know, the phone and the and the internet are usually okay, but do not sign up for Telus Optic TV. They're the shits. Anyway, today is Friday. Yesterday, Thursday, uh, we, we, we lost the line to Telus. It, it, it's broken out at the street again, and um, we have no phone, we have no internet, we have no TV. So um, it, it, it's really annoying that that was, that was all day Thursday, nothing. Today is Friday. A uh, TELUS person did come out and says, oh, I can't fix it. Um, I, you know, he, he actually showed up in a cherry picker truck, so he showed up with the right equipment, but that the line is snapped out at the street, so he has to um, get it attached further down the street, about two or 300 feet. He says he needs flaggers, you know, the guys that support the stop and the slow sign, and um, he doesn't have any. He says that they are over time. He doesn't think he's going to be able to come back until next week sometime. Well, this is really inconvenient. First of all, you know, it's Friday night. I love watching TV on Friday night. I love Hawaii Five-0, um, and I watch, I, I watch Dateline. So I, I'm really pissed off that I'm going to miss my shows tonight because TELUS couldn't send out the right personnel, the right staff, to get today's job fixed. And, um, and, and, and the fact that we're going to be like a week without any, any uh, internet or, 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 um, or TV is just really irritating. Like, tell us, get your act together. So today's uh, rant is all about tell us. Once again, I'm, I'm picking on tell us. So um, we, we, we've had this problem of tell us in the past where a truck went down the street and tore out their, their line at the street. And this happened about two years ago. We were, that happened on a Monday. Tell us, uh, lie to us, said somebody was going to fix it on Tuesday. And um, uh, by Wednesday, we phoned in and complained and yelled at Tell us. And, and the guy at Tell us, it's really funny, he says, Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking right now. You're going to get your internet and TV back up as soon as I'm done tweaking. Why does Tell us always say tweaking? Anyway, it's like, You liar. You liar. The, 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 the line is snapped in two by a truck that went down the street. So half the line is on one side of the street, half the line is on our side of the street. There's no way he, he can tweak to, to how comes, you know, how freezes over. And he's, he's still not going to be able to give us back service until somebody fixes the line out at the street. So um, um, somebody did show up and tell us in, in a, uh, a van. So they need a cherry picker to get up on the, on the poles there to fix the wires. And um, so he didn't have the right equipment. So you know, he tell us screwing up again. And um, then, then a guy with a cherry picker did show up and he says, oh, I need flaggers. And it's like, what the hell? The, the street isn't that busy. I, I mean, okay, we, it's not, it's not a major route. It's not even a secondary route. But yeah, people live up and down the street. There's um, streets off our street that go into subdivisions. And sure enough, some people would be using our, our street, too, to avoid the major um, thoroughfares throughout Surrey. But um, I said, well, give me the stop sign. I can stand out in the street and hold up a stop sign as good as anybody else. Really. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't take a lot of talent to stand there and hold a stop sign. But he says, oh, you're not approved by the city of Surrey. Well, I have seen flaggers on the street, if they are approved by the city of Surrey, you know, you don't know what they're doing. And, you know, and, and for, for the most part, I don't have any problem with flaggers. A lot of them, you know, they're, they're out there in tough conditions, and a lot of them do good jobs. And, you know, usually when I go by, I smile and I wave at them. But, yeah, there, there's been a few flaggers that, that you know, all, all they do, they, 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 they can multitask. One hand on the stop or slow sign, and the other hand, they got their thumb up their ass. You know what? What? What are they doing? And those are the ones that you 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 let them know how you feel. You know, you 
yeah, there you go. That's what I think of you flaggers. You know, and, and, and some of these really bad flag people, they, they, they do get stuck in road rage incidents of some sort. But um, anyway, so that time, it, it took until Friday for TELUS to round up a guy with a cherry picker to fix the line and some of these Surrey approved flaggers. So y y you would think that TELUS, if they looked through our account, they would see that in the past, this is what they had to do, get a cherry picker out and get flaggers. But no, today all they did was send the cherry picker out, no flaggers. So the guy says, can't get anybody until next week because uh, overtime is banned. You know, overtime on flaggers is banned. Like, like, like I say, just just give me the darn sign. I, I, can, I can stop traffic as well as anyone. In fact, some of these Surrey-approved flaggers, my dog could do a better job than them. Anyway, we said, call your boss back. Tell him you've got really irate customers and you fear for your personal safety. So he called his boss back, and um, the, uh, the it is now being approved for flaggers to get overtime, and now they'll supposedly be out tomorrow, Saturday. So we'll see. Um, this isn't the first time, you know, uh, what, what's going on with TELUS and not having their lines up high enough that, that trucks keep taking them out? This, this is an old truck route. There's actually a sign down at the end of the street that says, no big trucks. But, you know, if a truck heads down the street, they it's pretty tough to turn a big rig around. I'll get that. But what are they doing here in the first place? And second of all, Tellish should have enough smarts to at least keep their, their wires up at, at, at least as high as the hydro lines. They, the Tellish wire, wires are about three or four feet below the, the BC hydro lines. So I, I can remember back about 10 or 12 years ago, another house I lived in, and, and the internet all of a sudden went really slow. Tell, Tellish has been providing internet for me for about 20 years. So... Um, we call them and complain. The guy says, oh, I will tweak. <laughs> so he, he does the tweaking thing. And, and the, the internet got a little bit faster, but not, not as fast as it was before. And then about a month later, Telus phones us. And they said, hey, by any chance, did you happen to see a dump truck uh, uh, about a block down the street uh, taking out one of our wires? Well, no, we didn't. But why, why does it take TELUS a month to figure out that the problem was a wire that was broken down the street? And I'm not really quite sure, you know, if the, the wire was broken. Uh, we were still able to get internet and, and our phone was working. But um, fortunately for us, we did not have TELUS T Optic TV at the time, right? Maybe that would have been really screwed up. We, we, we had a satellite service with uh, Star Choice, which is no longer in operation. So, um, there you go. I, I don't know what it is with TELUS keeping their, their lines too low out in the street level where trucks can take them out. And anyway, that's my rant for today. I'm really pissed off of TELUS because it's Friday. It's two days of, of being without any type of service. It's really inconvenient for me. I have clients. I, I, I have stuff that I have to be doing on the internet. And, and Friday night, one of my favorite nights for watching TV, I can't even watch TV. So thanks, TELUS. You suck. That's my rant for today. It's Cheryl from the Lifestyle Digs. Thanks to everybody for listening to my rant about TELUS.